before getting into the refractive index first we need to know types of optical fibers okay so the types of optical fibers are mainly classified into three one is based on refractive index which you have already seen in the previous slide okay we will be knowing what is that refractive index and the next one based on the materials used in case if at all we want to uh, design optical fibers either for less cost or else for industrial purpose what is the material used next one is how the propagation of light is done in several modes these are the three main basic classification generally we come across so optical fiber types if at all you get it in the exam optical fiber types are generally classified into three one is refractive index second one the materials based on the material used for its manufacturing and third one the mode of propagation of light okay now let's see one by one see refractive index so we have seen the layers or the uh, peeling of the layers of that particular uh, optical fiber cable first one was the coat second one was the cladding the mid one the third important one was the core okay core was noted as refractive index n2 cladding was noted as refractive index n1 which is greater than what n2 is greater than n1 always refractive index of core is greater than refractive index of cladding okay refractive index of core n2 is greater than refractive index of cladding n1 now let's see what is that refractive index it is the ratio of velocity of light in a vacuum to its velocity in a specified medium okay this is the basic definition we generally find it anywhere okay now let's simplify that if you simplify that suppose the a light is entering into the core okay whenever a light enters into any kind of medium but generally air lo move avutund ankonde the light will uh, fast will be somewhat different okay suppose you are putting the same light into some kind of medium it can be a pipe or it can be a room or it can be any kind of space okay or a box or anything okay the propagation of light speed again changes anmata or the velocity of the light again changes now whenever refractive index is considered as whenever the light enters into a particular medium it can be an optical fiber cable or it can be a pipe or it can be any room or it can be any kind of object okay whenever a light enters into a particular medium okay how much uh, velocity the light slows down okay the refractive index is nothing but the it is measurement of light okay how much it slows down when it is getting into a particular new medium it is not that we are sending it in the air in case we are using a medium to focus a light how much that light slows down is nothing but considered as the refractive index see now this refractive index is noted as n equal to c by v where n is the refractive index c is equal to speed of light or velocity of light okay and v is nothing but the phase velocity of light okay, okay i will move on to the next slide yeah now these optical fibers are classified into two again step index fibers and graded index fibers okay let's see what is the first one step index fiber okay so if you see the diagram over here this is a basic block diagram of an optical fiber in which you can see the top layer buffer where buffer is again nothing but called as coat and not plastic coat okay we can consider it as an coat okay in that you can see a cladding okay in in cladding you can see core okay so let us say core is n2 and cladding is n1 okay refractive index of core is always greater than 
cladding okay according to our concept okay now in a step index fiber okay the core is surrounded by in a step index fiber the core is surrounded by cladding okay where the core carries the particular uh, light for transmission of the signal okay and the core is considered as refractive index n2 and cladding is considered as refractive index n1 okay now refractive index of core okay n2 gurtu pettukon refractive index of core n2 is always uniform in step index fiber okay why means i will tell you so in step index fiber we need to consider an optical fiber which will be having a coat core i mean coat cladding as well as core according to the concept the refractive index core n2 is always greater than the refractive index cladding n1 okay now in step index fiber the core n2 is always uniform okay why means i will show you right now see when the signal reaches the core okay the refractive index of the core will be uniform and there will be total internal reflection based on the signal so that the signal will propagate now let us say this is a signal signal which is propagating okay now when the signal goes and touches this one what happens what happens when the signal goes and touches the wall of a glass tube what happens it makes a reflection yeah now it this light again goes and hits to the other ground okay so if the edges of core is considered as cladding okay now this light what it does it travels in a core as it is traveling in a core it goes and hit, hit, hits the edges of a cladding okay now what's happening the light is getting reflected this reflections are nothing but called as total internal reflections okay in step index fiber as the core n2 refractive index of the core is n2 is greater than the n1 okay that means the light is slower the velocity of light is slower what happens is the reflection of the light will be uniform okay and it will slowly go to the other end of the particular a uh, tube or an optical fiber so always refraction uh, index of core n2 is greater than n1 okay and the propagation of the signal will be always uniform okay due to the total internal reflection let us see right now now this is graded index fiber okay let's see if you see this diagram over here this is step index and this is graded index okay what is the main difference over here what is the main difference over here here also graded index fiber also we need to consider an optical fiber which consists of coat cladding as well as core okay now what happens whenever a light is incident okay like this okay where this light goes this light from the core tries to move to the boundaries of the cladding to the edge of the cladding now what happens the the cladding what does it do is it tries to push the signal back ikade me in the step index fiber lo this light directly goes and hits to the wall of a core uh, core or the cladding okay due to which it takes a total internal reflection but what's happening in a graded index fiber even though the light is propagating like this here the second layer undi kada n1 n1 what is n1 here this is n2 what is n1 here 
what is n1 what is n2 cladding refractive index of cladding yeah so whenever the light from the core goes and tries to touch the boundaries of cladding n1 okay cladding what does it do is okay it tries to push the signal away so what's happening over here we can see this particular light as it is going towards here and taking the bend like this it is not there is no proper total internal reflection because reflections are never about like why because the cladding is pushing the signal away again towards the core so you can clearly observe a wave kind of signal okay which is moving in the particular graded index fiber okay now you can clearly see here the lower index n1 the lower index n1 is considered as nothing but this cladding n1 okay bends the light rays towards the center of the core ikka nunchi light ray elinappudu ee cladding em chestundi cladding daggarku vachina signal light signals annitni bend chestundi malli it is pushing such that we cannot see a proper total internal reflections reflections anevi ikkada kanapadavu okay and one more thing this uh, propagation of signal also depends on the size of this particular core okay now let's see classification of optical fibers based on materials so we have two types of materials through which our fiber optics or optical fibers are manufactured okay so plastic optical fibers in the case of plastic optical fibers okay the polymethyl methacrylate is used as a core material for transmission of the light miru road side gaani lepothe gift shops lo you might have seen they used to make a artificial flower pots kind of thing chinna chinna fibers use chesi lights vache laga chustaru you might have already seen many times in this particular uh, shops and all those things this one okay so yeah that is a cheap low quality fiber optics or fiber cables okay and coming to the glass fibers this is um, made of extremely fine glass fibers okay these are mainly second one second image these are mainly used for industrial purpose huge high data transmissions okay within some fractions of second gbps of data kavali ante we are propagating microwave signals using this particular huge extremely fine glass fibers okay these are high quality and made of uh, fibers mixed, mixed with glass okay and used for high data transmission and the plastic one is low and cheap cost cheap in cost they are mainly used for uh, very less purpose application some like toys short distance communications alanti vaat kosam use chestu untaru this is classification based on materials coming to the classification based on mode of propagation of light okay there will be two modes in two modes we can propagate this particular light using optical fibers one is single mode fibers another one is multi mode fibers okay in single mode fibers uh we can transmit the signal using this optical fibers for a long distances okay and coming to multi mode fibers we can transmit the signals only up to a shorter distances okay in the further class we will be much more learning about what are these single mode fibers as well as multi mode fibers okay